Welcome to this video, another one in colouring platter rims. Uh, I'm going to show a new technique, a bit more freeform, perhaps a little less controlled than some of the other ones I've done. I've called it splodging paint. It actually was inspired by a photograph I saw of a piece of glasswork, lots of different colours fused together. Um, and this is my attempt to try to recreate that glass pattern. Um, unfortunately, lovely little crack in the bottom when I turned the bowl, so this will probably be a home use one. Much shinier, glossier than uh, previous pieces I've done. You can sort of see if I angle it around, you can get a bit of the shine coming off that. Yeah, this has got car lacquer on, um, high coat um, is the make. Several coats, it's been flattened back and then polished and buffed. But a couple of other uh, colours is sort of blues, greens and, and yellows. Um, and another one from a, from a demo I recently did uh, of red and green and some and some blue I really have liked the red to have stayed a bit more vibrant anyway um, um, I don't normally like to spend too long talking at the beginning so let's crack on and uh, show you how I made this as normal the platter rim has been turned and sanded down to 400 grit and then sealed first coat is some yellow um, you'll notice I'm sort of putting it on in a radial pattern again not worrying too much about it being neat next color orange um, and there's the splodging happening um, getting some nice run-on effects and working around the rim I know it looks rather messy at the moment but um, just building up the colors and then some red adding a little bit darker again sort of following the random eyes sort of radial pattern that's going on not worrying about it being too neat uh, just darkening some areas and rather than putting a lot of color on at once I went over each section several times and here's uh, some splattering I'm just bouncing the paint off a thin piece of card I found it a little tricky to master uh, and later on you'll see me trying a different way um, now putting in some black uh, started off putting thin lines in but after a while I thought they weren't really as dramatic or as bold as they could be and so I decided to thicken them up um, at the outer end and taper them as they moved into the centre and got a, some nice runs of paint there you can see little thin lines coming off um, again probably very bad airbrush technique um, if you're trying to get smooth effects but uh, I thought that that worked well see the effect now working its way around um, all of the rim then the final step is to seal the finish with some sanding sealer um, before the gloss lacquer goes on Here's a speeded up version of one of the other colour combinations I've used. Starting off with some yellow, then some blue, although it looks green because I'm actually going over the yellow there. But then when it gets onto the uncovered wood, you can see that it is actually blue. Again, some splodging going on, getting some runs. Um, and then some darker purple, I think, going in to define each segment a little more and again working that all the way around and then just finishing off the edge with some yellow um, brightening up and filling in any gaps that hadn't been covered and then this time I sprayed um, against a loose fitting glove on my finger to get the spatter effect this was a bit more effective than using the card method so I was a bit happier with this overall again it's a bit hit and miss and here are some close-ups uh, I think the red uh, is my favourite. It's the one that's got the deepest gloss finish on and the close-ups really let you see that, that shine coming off and the close-up detail looking at the spattering effect and the splodging, the little lines that come off. Uh, that shows you the shine very clearly, I think, that picture. And here's the second one. Uh, not so many close-ups of this one. Uh, again, a close-up of the texture and overall I've done three of these so far 
The one on the right, colours I think are too dark. This definitely is my favourite piece. Anyway, thanks for watching.